Who's the Zainan? Hi. Hello. So basically everything started with just one SMS between you two. That's... How did this happen? Right, it didn't... well, mm, no. We, we met back in 2008, we toured together. I still don't drive of course. And, uh, you know, you start just like, you know, hello, chit chat, you know, a few drinks, blah, blah. And one night we discovered our mutual uh, passion and love for extreme music. Uh, and uh, that's something we always, always wanted to do, the music we always loved. So that's, you know, we discovered, oh, fuck yeah, you love that band, I love that, you know. You know, and we said one day we're gonna, we should do a band together, you know, and usually uh, it never happens. You, you say that and then blah blah. Then, fast forward a few years after, I, I had those uh, songs written uh, and I got uh, Stefan from Love Blast involved. So I was just like, Stefan and I, we're gonna do something, but whatever. And then I received a text from Joey out of the blue and he was like, hey man, you know, how are you doing? What are you up to? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, uh, you know. You know, death metal, I know you love death metal, but I've got those songs and he was like, yeah, can I listen to them? Send them to him and he was like, dude, that's killer, who's playing drums? And I said, no one, you know, question mark, and uh, that, you know. Yeah, that sparked the whole thing that, uh, you know, we've been talking about <clears throat> doing something together, like when we're on tour, and, uh, you know, like what I'd like to say, and like that people know is like, you know, what, you know, there's always these things, you know, you get together, you meet people on the road, you always like want to like, form like a side project. The difference here is like this is not a side project. This is a full on band. That's why, you know, there was a little bit of time elapsed to where we had to exchange, you know, like ton of phone calls and emails to like, you know, decide exactly where we wanted to go with this because it could not be just, you know, like a kind of one off or just like a side project. Cause I hate that fucking term mm -hmm. because like if it was going to, you know, it's fine to do something like that. But like with this incarnation of like what we, we've done, you know, and the people that are involved in this, they're all in this completely. Like it's a, it's a complete orb. It's a complete heart. It'd be, you know, that fucking is, you know, necessary. So it's called Sinsino because of a certain belief and a certain feeling between all of us that we've been looking for for fucking a long time, you know, and that we have not found. But when you finally find it, you need to pay attention to it. That's why we're all together. Now it's the same. So it's really considered a long-term project, not just a one-time thing? It's a band, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I don't like the word project either, but yeah. it is, it is, no, no, but it is. And uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't care if people call it super group, all star band, or, but this it's it's a band. It's just like, and I mean, we did the album, and then we we, we went to the, the to shoot the videos in Budapest. Uh, so we did the video for Army of Chaos, and we uh, we did the, the video for Splendor and Agony that will come out in a few weeks. And uh, so we rehearsed before that, and uh, we all got together in the same room, and we did Army of Chaos, and we just did the count. And then fucking was goosebumps everywhere, and it was like it's. That's when you knew it was for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. That plus plus on a, on a human level, it's not just about music. It's more than that. You know, everybody's just like a real connection. That doesn't happen that often, you know. So it just that that made us realize, yeah, this is a band. This is not just like we do it for fun and who cares. That's you know, that's for real. So you recorded your instruments in Paris or in France in general, mm -hmm. yes. so did Attila, mm -hmm. well you did it in the US. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you all met before to practice yes. or was it completely digital? Oh, the, no, we, uh, we, we met before in, in, yeah. in life, but not, not, to for, uh, not to practice for the, for the other. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> so it was, it was digital, but I mean that's very easy, that's something I do with, uh, with Dragon Force as well. Uh, Vimit, the people from Vimit do not necessarily all live in, in Iowa. It's quite yeah. common these days, you know, you just send, uh, and, and you have to understand also that we've been, we, we doing, we're musicians, that we, that's what we've been doing for a long, long time, you know. So we, we don't, we, uh, yeah, we used to, we don't have to rehearse all together, like, uh, like all the bands, mm -hmm. like on a Saturday afternoon, you know, it, I mean, we can, I can, we can trust each other, just I'm sending you something and I know he's going to get it right, you know, so, yeah, I mean, there's been like a lot of exchange, emails, phone calls, just, uh, that's what, how we want, 
but we did not rehearse together. There was no need for that because it was just, you know. You wrote the first song when you wrote about Trinity. Mm -hmm. I found it pretty fascinating because it's during such a long time span, your personal taste changes, you, you grow as a musician, mm -hmm. but still you rediscovered it mm -hmm. and apparently liked it. Mm -hmm. How much have you changed? Um, how, many, how much have the songs changed um, when you dug them up again? Uh, well, I, I guess I, uh, I, I know more about music than when I used to, but it, it is the same, the same passion, the same passion, the same, uh, the same anger. I, I mean, I, you know, you, you grow up as a person, you, 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 know, you change, you know more about life in general, but I still have that dark, that, that, that darkness in me never went away, it will always be there. So that, that's a way of expressing it. So these songs were written by an angry young man, and now I'm like an angry adult. I mean, I'm not that old anyway, you know, but, but it still have, I still have the same passion, it's still there. That's a, the that's a music that I listen to more things, you know, not just death of black metal, because uh, I'm a musician and it's not, you can't just limit yourself, you know, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it is the same, the same vibe, you know, it, and I, I guess it's the same with everyone when you listen to albums that you loved back then, yeah, you, you feel, if it's really good and if you love it, you feel the same. You were talking earlier about My Dying Bride, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. when you listen to Tunnel's yes. response, yeah, yeah, you've got, you've got your, you know, your, your vibe mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah, and so that that's that. Yeah. How many songs of the album have you written now? Um, it, it's hard to tell because some of them, some of them were written, like you said, like a long time ago. Some of them in between. Some of them uh, towards the end of the process of the of the thing. But say, uh, Joey recorded the, the drums in January two thousand fourteen. Yeah, okay, so that means they were written before that. So I can't. I didn't write down just like the the day each time, you know, but. Uh, some of the stuff I sent uh, Joey, on, you know, uh, was not finished, uh, and that was in uh, in March two thousand thirteen. That means between uh, March and January two thousand fourteen, I had to finish the whole lot, you know. And then, and in meanwhile, going back and forth to adjust, you know, like uh, uh, the 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 drums were for me to adjust. Now, for me to send him what I was recording, and him making a hundred times better. That's still adjusting, I suppose. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> there's a little adjusting, like when I would go behind the cable, like, no shit, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. improving. Yeah. But still, I mean, all the 21 songs, they were perfectly together, and you don't notice that some are older, some are younger. Mm -hmm. And you said that the entire album should be listened to in its entire length. Yes. Um, this is something that few people do actually today. Yeah. At the yeah. age of MP3. If you had to imagine um, a visualization of the whole thing, how would that movie look like? Because it is really a journey. Yeah, ah, uh, how would it be dark? <laughs> it would be dark. Uh, it would go through, there would be tension. That, that's why, um, if, you know, we have those interludes. Uh, apart from one song, one song doesn't have one. Why is that? Why is that title in, in German and then Attila uh, sings in Hungarian in it? Uh, so there would be a lot of like you know poses like it could it wouldn't necessarily have to be a cannibal holocaust it could be a mix of <laughs> cannibal holocaust and uh, it would be a horror movie that's for sure something dark you know I imagine. Why two singers? Well, the the, the, the combination of you know Attila and Sean literally took you know like the dimension of the sound that we were looking for within the soul of the music itself. Reason being, we could have stuck with Attila and it would have been fucking great. We could have stuck with Sean and it would have been great. But the thing is what we're trying, what we're not trying to do, what we are doing, like within the confines of the writing style and what we're doing within the music, is that literally like when Fred was sending songs and composing we were com with work, me and him working on this like for fucking years, like in the, in the making, is that it, this took these two singers, uh, vo I wouldn't even call singers, vocalists, like artists, to fucking get the point across of the riffs and the vibe of the music. Otherwise, 
Would have been great with Jashon? Yeah. Would have been great with Attila? Yeah. But, like, what we were feeling is a dimension that has not really been touched on necessarily before. So what we're trying to, not trying to do, what we are doing is bringing together something that is a, a, another dimension of what fucking it took to make the fucking music the way that we want it to sound. You have shown that it's very rhythmical, it's in your face, there, like Death Metal, amazing singer, by the way. Right on beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then uh, in the well articulated, you can hear pronoun pronunciation is great. You know? And then you've got Attila, who's like totally the opposite, and he's in the back. And he's he's like a haunting ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then them two together, you know, it's just like create something that, you know, that was needed. The contrast between the two feeding off each other is like a fucking, it's like almost like you have a knock at your door, but you also have a wind behind it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. That's like, that, one of those is like I think of like a lot of things when I listen to the vocals on the record they come across to me in a lot of different ways and they're fucking very nightmarish you know and that's fucking Attila has a lot to do with that Sean is fucking very very direct and in the face but Attila is the fucking ghost when he comes in the fucking vibe of the moon changes especially when we hit the fucking inverted chords and fucking especially with the blasts and until it jumps in, it takes the fucking song to this next dimension. And you know, even within each song, so that's like the chemistry that kind of like moves through the record. Because it's kind of like this, like vocally, even though the fucking confines within the, the band members are fucking completely on point. So that's like the fucking chemistry of like how the vocals fucking work together, like the vocals of Sinsingham and the vibe of Sinsingham is. Now, Ati and I played a huge role in the history of black metal. Do you still remember the first time that you listened to Mayhem and what it cost you? I mean, you were still young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just... yeah. Mm -hmm. you start. You start fucking love the album. Fucking love the album. It's like nothing else. Uh, yeah. And he's vocal. The first time I thought that was funny. But funny like... No, 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 but funny like weird, you know, just like a funny feeling. But I, I was, you know, I was laughing. That's the reaction you have, you know, when you laugh, you're laughing at someone's funeral. It's nervous, because you feel something, there's something, you go like, <laughs> uh, uh, it's strange, like, he's not, you know, and he's using his fucking vocal, I mean, it's, you know, it's something creepy as fuck. Uh, the, the guy is like, it's such an amazing person, but when he, when he switches, you know, yeah, there's a switch, and then he becomes Attila, and, and it's fucking, well, I mean, he's always Attila, but, yeah, I mean, he becomes like that. That goes that that scary thing and uh, yeah yeah I mean what, when I heard that that album and I still still one of my favorite black metal albums it's not my my favorite that and few holocaust for them, uh, immortal but uh, yeah no so that's amazing so I mean for example the, the song on from on from this uh that I I wrote that song before I knew that Attila would be in the band but the middle section was definitely I had his his you know his vo voice in my head just like I'd be cool if I could have him like Turns out, yeah, fuck you, you know, so when he joined the band, like, by the way, it's a song that's for you, that, you know, so, uh, but that, that's, yeah, that, that album is amazing. Yeah, with, uh, you know, speaking of Attila, and I want to give Sean props too, but speaking of Attila, within this music, characterizes the actual nightmare and the fucking haunting of what this is, because I'm telling you, like, like, I, you know, probably fucking preaching, not preaching, but like talking about like something that a lot of people would know, but like the thing is within this band, you know, I've known Attila for a long time, but when he came into this band, like you can see a fucking chameleon of many fucking different faces and sometimes you don't know necessarily what you're gonna, gonna get. Within the fucking confines of the music and the way he fucking constructs his vocals and also his appearances within the videos is the fucking, you know, the He's a fucking artist. It's like on a different dimension. You know, like what we have, like when he fucking comes in, it's fucking, the, you know, the, the spirit of the music changes completely. He's like literally a fucking, like a ghost that comes in like fucking from nowhere. And like, it, he forces you to pay attention regardless. The album cover was made by Kristen Chirino, mm -hmm. who's done lots and lots of great stuff in mm -hmm. other bands. I guess I don't have to ask why you picked him, because obviously because he's awesome, but how did it come together? Uh, through, through Attila. 
all, all the yeah yeah all the all the people involved uh, in this uh, band project whatever you want to call it but yeah it, it, I mean but I, I'm gonna say project because I'm talking not just about music now but also like you know the, the, the artwork and whatnot everyone involved uh, it, because there was a connection uh, an artistic and a human connection something you know we felt something was right so Kostin, uh, was a friend of Attila, so I trust Attila. So I'm like, okay, if you're Attila's friend, you're my friend. So let's let's talk. I didn't. I, I, he's done some stuff I really like. Some other stuff I don't really like. But I just if we felt I was right. I just gave him the album. I said, listen to this. And uh, I when I was sending the the album, so that those were the the, the demos or the drums were they recorded. I can't remember what point it was, but I, I was sending something called Sinsane One Big Five and basically instead of like sending 21 songs it was just one from A to Z because I wanted people to get to get it right and uh, especially the you know, in, in the movie aspect yeah it connect, connects the whole thing so it is almost one track yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and I and I told uh, I told Dustin so look that I think it should be called Echoes of the Torture and uh, yeah what do you what do you get out of this and uh, you know, and it was just like, oh, okay, yeah, visualized, and and he got it right. You know, the the this is the the cover expresses and more. You know, there was a, a a hard time for him because it was around the time uh, people uh, died in Romania. There was that concert. Fire. Yes. 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 And that he, he, that's the painting he made right after. So that means a lot. There's there's a lot of emotional. You know. Uh, uh, emotion in, in this as well um, you know as, as an artist you always like you, know, you can try to you have to express it so that that was that was there as well and uh, uh, so that's what we worked with him and it was just like it's great I, I love the color you have any tour plans or is it not possible with Gary Force no no there is tour plans we don't have anything you know right now on the books are lined up but we right now, or you know, especially since doing like this press tour and like everything that we're doing right now, you know, concerns us in, is that right now we are lining things up because like when you go on a press tour with this, you know that you're not getting out of it. There is tour plans. We have to, in respect to our other bands, find the right time. You know, the thing is, it is going to happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this press tour. You know, there'd be fucking no point of being like, you know, I'm just gonna put out a record, we don't do like some phone interviews, but we're doing this because like this this sets off like the you know the key to fucking make sure that we get out and uh, represent this music, you know, live. Because it's meant to be played live. It's not just meant to be listened to. Of course, you know, fucking the record is great. It is what it is, it's fucking amazing. But the thing is, when we were rehearsing, you know, to do the fucking videos, like literally counting off. Like, that's when we knew, like, oh my god, this has to fucking be fucking taken out of the road. So, like, we will get there when, when the timing is right, we just need to find the right time. That's all I can say. Yeah. That people need to understand that because we live in different countries, then we can't make it. It's not magical. You know, I, I mean, we like different countries, different bands, so people have to understand that. Once they understand, they have 21 songs to play with. So, <laughs> you know, that's enough for them to digest. And we want to, I mean, we want and we will. Because so far, what we wanted, we achieved, uh, and uh, so that that's gonna be the same with uh, with life. We want a tour, so we will. Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, thank you guys. Thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs>